Arsenal, King of the North. Yeah. Are we? King of the North. Are we King of yeah, the North? Yeah, we've always been the King of the North. Any power shift, any brother rights has always been with Arsenal. For the fact that they've been up there for the past two seasons, finishing second, third, doesn't mean they are the best in North London. They have nothing to show for it, no trophy, nothing. So always be the king of North London. For me, I've always seen um, Tottenham as a noisy neighbor, you know. When you covet what your neighbor has, mm -hmm. you always want to be like them. That's what they've been. They've always been at the sh um, shadows of us now. They've always <laughs> been at shadows. You know, there was a time they wanted the Olympic Stadium so badly because they wanted a very large capacity yeah. and all of this. And, you know, thank God. I was so excited when West Ham got it. Yeah. But on the contrary, they got the, the Wembley. Wembley. Which is one of the fantastic grounds for us now. Yeah, we, we, he we barely lose us. our Wembley. So I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to our, our, our other fixtures against them at Wembley okay. because I know we yeah, like to play at Wembley and we just like to score at Wembley. <laughs> so what, what if, let's say, what if they actually um, won that game? The one at the Emirates. What if? What if they had won at the Emirates? We will be, we will still be having the same discussion now. Well, and we, they are not king of the north and all of that. We will be, and you know, for me, if you want to brag over somebody, you have to show something for you. They've only finished above us now once. Okay. In the last how many seasons? Only God knows how many. And they've not won anything aside the Cali Cup they won a few years back. Yeah. We've won the FA Cup about three times in, yeah. in four until years. Until they have something to show for it. Until <laughs> they have, even until they go unbeaten in the Premier League. Yeah. Season. Yeah. They've not yeah. gone the whole season unbeaten. Yeah. 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 Even even Jamie so. Carragher said um, they are still a long way behind us now. You know, you finished um, a season ahead of them doesn't mean um, yeah, you, sort of you take, all take of a sudden. Over become the power uh, holder in the North London. But for me, I think um, Tottenham needs a whole lot of um, growing up to do before they can come to the level of oh, now. They should yeah. stop, they should stop. <laughs> they should stop the <laughs> so they, should, they should know Asna is Asna. Really? You should Tottenham. get size now. <laughs> uh, 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 okay, so let's, let's look at uh, the game. Who would you have said was your man of the match? Yeah, I'll say it's Ozil definitely. He's always been accused of not showing up in big games. Yeah. He's always been accused of not putting so much really effort. Lazy. He's always been accused of being lazy. But looking at that game, I could see the way he took hold of that game with the stroke of an egg. He was everywhere, tackles, assists and everything. So I'll definitely miss with Ozil. Well, I, I think it's well, between Ozil and uh, Mustafi because there was some Mustafi. vital blocks <laughs> Mustafi had. You know, there was a time Harry Kane was almost through on goal and uh, he just threw the legs in and, and you know, he was a beast, he was always everywhere yeah, around everywhere. the defence. And uh, For me, I think Ozil did well, he, he gave an assist mm. and there was a time he had to track back and I was like, is this message Ozil? <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I was, I was, it, it was a really good of, yeah, um, of yeah. Christian Eriksen. Exactly, and then there was some But I think um, there's someone else who I would love to give the man of the match, the captain for the day, Laurent Koscielny. Koscielny. No, Koscielny has always been, been, like, he has always been you know, for me, he I, would his product, I would have given it to him. Because um, whether we like it or not, it was one Marshall in Hurricane. Exactly. Yeah. All over exactly. the place. All over. And the fact that he was even playing his 300 game for us. That's now a very much very motivated exactly. for the game. Yeah. and. It was up for it. For me, I, I think I, 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 I'll go for Lauren Koshen. But there was always the Ramsey too that was doing all the running around in the midfield. That guy, I don't know. Back then, I used to say he had potential. <laughs> can we, but now, can yeah. we just say everybody was. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've grown those potentials. And I think he's, he's a good player. He's becoming but he's not player. been well managed. Mm -hmm. There were times Ramsey had lost the ball in vital positions. It's not supposed to be so. Ramsey, you get the ball, you look at the nearest person to you, you pass once. Mm -hmm. But once Ramsey gets the ball, he wants to turn around 360 oh, and see if I can dribble one yeah. person. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And um, he, he, he slows I don't know, down I don't know the tempo. If you guys noticed it, there was there was a particular um, time in the game he denied um, Alexis. Alexis. I, I, I saw a very, very, very good opportunity. Just give Alexis that pass. 
He's and, strong. Go, and go. He, he, you know, in the replay show, he saw, he saw yeah, Alex he saw him, and it's not. And he, does, he, does that mean there's a beef between the two of them? Well, I used to think, I used to think because I barely see the two of them up in pictures on Instagram, on mm -hmm. Twitter, because I follow most of them. Yeah. And I've seen Mustafi, Yozil, Alexis, Ozil, and all of those in the pictures, but I barely see. Season. It's not about uh, Ramsey not giving Alexis the pass ever. Even Alexis sometimes. So it Even Ramsey was Ramsey. true on goal mm. and he'll be looking at the other, the other side. side. And I was wondering too that is there something and this is why I think it's not even good for the dressing room. So I think mm. something is wrong between both. So uh, are we I think we will be looking at an exit. For Alexis? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, no, it's it's not very likely. Well well, 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 well I, I, I think when yeah. Yeah, when it comes to Managing players, I think when is one of the best managers that can do that very well. Yeah. Find off the pitch, off the pitch, and even sometimes what baffles me is when our players have to get to the last year of their contract before uh, before he, renew. he renew her. I know Wenga very well. If he wants something, he, he has a way around it. Mm -hmm. And then, but then you have some certain players that look at Ramsey now. Ramsey got a new contract already, mm -hmm. and we have an Alexis. We have uh, all of you that are very vital to us and, are, and they are not getting the new contract. But what I'm saying is, if Wenga really wants them to sign a contract today, they would sign. I know they would sign a contract. I think, I think we're, we're, we're used to that as, 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 as now fans. <laughs> today, you know, we play like the best team, like I said earlier, and the next match, we forgot to do that we play. And you want to wonder where the, what exactly is the problem. There's a way we can maintain a standard. Those are what's uh, those are the things that Alex Ferguson did. You, you hardly find United dropping. Even at, uh, at 89 minutes, you still know something will still happen. Mm -hmm. And you find our players playing like they are not, they don't even want to win the game. Their desire, the desire is not there. The energy level is not there. And Wenger keeps sitting there and keep throwing <laughs> goals. That's not is the it, is, is Wenger giving them? Is he giving them too much um, free hand on the field? Is that the problem? I think the problem is with Wenger, as he said. You look at his starting line or something and you wonder what is this? You look at his substitution at times. When a game is calling for a striker, I bring on a defender. When a game is calling for a defender, I bring on a striker. And you keep wondering like, what kind of tactic is it? If you look at the game against Man City, everybody was like, where is Lacazette? Where is Lacazette? And I was like, it's, it's a tactic to call the Man City's defense or attack or whatever. And when he brought the guy on the game chain, the guy scored and then you could ask yourself, why didn't he start in the first place? If you look at Pep Guardiola sometimes and look at his game, sometimes uh, Aguero will be on the bench, sometimes even Gabriel Jesus will be on the bench, and you know that this man is trying to come up with something, and at the end of the day, he won the game. So I think the problem lies with the manager. He's not consistent himself. His tactics are not consistent. Even his starting line, you don't want to say, even for now, you can't even say, this is our starting line. Yeah, so one, one more thing about with... Wenger, we don't always have a plan B. Oh, yeah. We no, um, always want to pass and pass and pass and pass. And once the opponent, the opponent keeps frustrating us, they launch a counter attack and they score. For yeah. me, I think um, this Asen Venga issue is it's, it's driving too long, you know. This is a living legend that I would like it. No, of course, he's, he's done very he's, well. He's, he's been a successful manager as now. Well. For us now, he has all the accolades. The most successful period of um, the Arsenal history has been the one. And um, when we won the last FA Cup, you know. We, we had our backs against the wall, like against Chelsea, and everybody it's was Man like, City the right We wouldn't win this cup. And Wenger motivated those boys. I thought it was the end, like, we're just throwing the towel and leave. Mm -hmm. But who knows? The board just gave him two years, and um, two years of torment, <laughs> two years of joy. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, yeah. we just have to stand by. Yeah, we are, we, we are done like uh, maybe six, almost six months to the two years. Yeah, yeah, two years. So I, I really can't wait for the two years <laughs> to, to, to run out. out. If, in, I, one, in one word then. Okay, sorry. Two words. Wenga in, Wenga out. For me, I think Wenga out. Wenga out. Wenga out. Wenga out. Well, let's see what it's going to be in one and a half here. Then we'll know where we take it to. Then let's let's look at um, another, another key issue. We are looking at a situation where um, the the kind of um, uh, executives that Wenger does not want them to bring in into us now, they are beginning to come in the one after the other. Board. Director of football. Mm. Now we have uh, this man from uh, Dortmund. Yeah, no, very good. Yes, Miss Lint. Yes, we just we just we just signed him uh, very recently. Mm -hmm. So 
Is there something changing? Will Wenger run out his contract the way this thing is going? I think I think Arsenal is they are, they are preparing for his exit. For his exit already. You know, he's he's, he's been there, he's been there ever since I was at started supporting Arsenal and you know. <laughs> um he can't continue forever. There has to be a time we would have to just say step down and say, Asna, thank you for the job, thank you and everything. And Asna will tell him thank you for the trophies. Yeah. It's time to leave. Mm -hmm. And I think with, with this new recruitment, I think I, I think I'm excited about it. Because usually I've never heard of such Asna been such thing ever since I've been reading mm -hmm. in a very long time. And I think we're already preparing for his exit and um, I really look forward to, to having Nika, a good for time. me, um I think um the Asna body is being very, very cautious. They don't want to go the way of Man U, you know, they, mm -hmm. uh, after the exit of yeah. um, Alex Ferguson, yeah. they had to be the the chosen one and then um, we all know the story uh, afterwards. So uh, what they are trying to do for me, I think, is trying to cushion the ground for mm -hmm. the next would-be manager, yeah. you know, um, preparing the ground, easier. make the job easier, let the template be on ground, let those who's going to work with the future manager yeah. come in first, then by the time Wenger will be going, it will be easy for the person to blend in. I think that's what. Yeah, he, he, he has said it several times that he wants been. to leave us now in a very strong position. Well, yeah. So, because he said he wants to leave a very good ground for mm. the next person coming in, so the person would have to struggle too much. Yeah. And but then there are there are very good managers. Masi did struggle when when Pep came in, though they didn't win the league. But the signature was there that the next season was going to be bad. Yeah, and now we're in the new season and. They are up and running. So, yeah. if, if, if we get if we get a very high profile manager, I thought Arsenal was going to get paid. But yeah. Wenger stayed and he had to go to Man City. So it's obvious they are uh, really preparing for his exit because if you look at the former head of recruitment, mm -hmm. it's a Wenger Man City. Yes. Really? Really, yes. So if you look at it, you see that they are trying to bring in new, new guys. Because Wenger who, is who not just take And this guy is a very yeah. good um, head of recruitment. He has his records. Mm -hmm. He likes of um, Abomaya, Nagawa, Lewandowski, Usman Dembele. So even the recent American police policy. Yeah. So I think it's a very good move. So let's let's look at the goals. As now thoughts in that. Well for me it came it they, came from from maybe quarters you probably wouldn't have expected. It, exactly, exactly. They were they were I think I'll I'll say they, they were a little bit controversial. Okay. The first one <laughs> The first one was not really a free kick. Okay. Football game is a game of contact. Yes. And there's no way you wanna tackle a striker as a defender that you won't make Mm. Contact for me. The, I think what the referee saw was usually the uh, the Sanchez, I mean, the defender was backing the ball, and I like this won the ball with it. The referee was like, There's no way you could have yeah, gone the back the ball because he was already backing the ball, mm. and I like this had gone. And before you could turn, and you still had advantage, and have advantage of getting the ball, then I think the referee so felt he must have stopped it. No, yes, yeah, fine. It's it's fine. There were times against against bad decisions against us. Fine. Even against Watford, yes. the the like was was a and the penalty came from nowhere. So see, it's see, we lost controversial. I was just being honest. I was just being honest. The second goal is a goal. Against Stoke City, we had no business losing that game. The officials lost that game, game for us. Because exactly. even before uh, before, the the, of, before the Stoke City uh, goal, decision. we had a clear um, penalty shout yeah, for um, Welbeck. Well, I enjoyed so the video. Against, against, so, against Man City, against Man City, David Silva was like a yard yeah, outside. outside and all was the the well, I, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the, the, the game of football. Even against and there's a goal. very clinical. Very clinical. They were, they were very good. I like. I thought Alexis had lost. I need to say something about the way of. Yeah, I need to say something about the second goal. Whether we like it or not, we, we have to give credit to Lacazette like because um, the <laughs> movement the game was fine. Yeah. And then Ozil before um, um, Hector Bellerin made the pass, Ozil made a dummy run, yeah. con um, confused Eric Dyer, and Eric, um, like said, Bellerin made the pass. And that was all. Now, one thing about Lacazette has always been his movement. He yeah. is he's very mobile. I, I, like yeah. him. I like him. So, maybe is there something missing in that one that is making Lacazette not click 
Hundred percent. I think the problem is from the midfield. Sometimes you look at his runs and you look at the midfield not even being able to supply. Supply. Any there were times that mid run and the balls were very not very going through him. That's that's the movement is just. I, I like him and too. you just look at the midfield that sometimes they don't spot his run the way they should. And so I, I like it. We, we, we've been when unfortunate. They, uh, when they very, very get to jail together, yeah. uh, for they me, need I think, to understand yeah. the way he plays. But for now, we, we've, we've been begging for a striker in a class of Lacazette like like for, for a while now. Time. And it's so unfortunate we got him when um, the midfield is not it's top so notch yet. Nice, yeah. uh, we are mix, missing the likes of um, Santi Cazorla, so, uh, one nice. wonderful playmaker, nice. diminutive both mm. feet, um, ambidextrous, he can play a pass from anywhere. Wait. And um, I think before we know it, maybe by next Something season, will happen. Um, we'll get a decent um, creative midfielder who would always spot that um, Lacazette run. You know. I think, I think, I think this, this guy, uh, Granit Shaka, is more of a box-to-box. And for me, he's a very fantastic player, no doubt. But his level is dropping. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask, what is Wenger doing? There were times this guy was fun. He can throw a pass from, from our box. And, and it will yes. still catch an Arsenal player. Mm -hmm. But now he's not doing that. He's more of, he's losing so much passes. And I thought, Wenger, it's time to bring in Jack Boucher. Mm -hmm. Let Jack Boucher be a competitor to mm -hmm. this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we have so many Arsenal players that say, well, if I fail of it, I will still start the next <laughs> game. Maybe that's the That's the whole idea. And Wisha has been working so hard. I followed him on Instagram and, you know, pictures of him, videos of him trying to do several hard work just to make sure he gets back to his best. But then when guys is not give all those games he's giving him, they are not competitive games. Mm -hmm. Give him a game where, where he will do something that will win and he will be all over that. Oh, Jack Fisher won the game for Arsenal. And before you know it, he's, he's getting back to his, to his best. He's a very fantastic young player. Yeah, this and this um, Granite Shaka still comes back to us and Benga, you know, um, at a very young age, he captain Borussia Mönchengladbach. Oh. Finally, Arsenal, Cologne, Europa League. Yeah, I've been Down. qualified for the next yeah, round. round. I think this game I meant for the uh, the youth. The Man, can, we, can, we, can we get to top the table? Of course. I think if we win, we are topping the group. Yes. So yes, I think maybe. this is a must win. Cologne, they are not very in a good good form. Yeah. So I think this is a game we should. Even with the youth players, yeah. even with uh, the likes of Giroud, the likes of... They are not getting games yeah. in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. So this is a game they should be able to win. While I was thinking about this game, I was thinking about the Danny Welbeck I just came back from Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very good chance for you to, to so play like so this. So you know, yeah. work out for me. Well, you will get his chance. And Jack Boucher. Yes, Jack Boucher. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's the reason why I really yeah. want to see that game. Because push. I want to see Jack Boucher again. I've been following his progress, his development. And I think that guy still has some in the pocket for us. In likes of Rich Nelson, Eklam, Insley, Magnanize, and all of that. I don't see us not losing. I want to see that. I don't see us not losing. And about the Cologne match, as much as I don't want us not playing in this tournament, but as an Arsenal fan, I want us to win. It's a good chance of us winning the trophy. We are not really playing against Barcelona. Looking at the as Arsenal has been playing against Barcelona. Looking at the as Arsenal has been adopted with this um, competition so far. He has been blooding the young stars, mm -hmm. keeping the first team fresh. Uh, so, whether we like it or not, we'll see a whole lot of the young stars. But um, going away, not forgetting when Cologne came to London, they, uh, they created the chaos, yes. vandalized yeah, the stadium yeah, and everything. Yeah, so, Arsenal is condemned to win that game. Yeah, we have to go there. Yeah, yeah. Beat them in their home. Well, I don't see Arsenal losing. Okay. Well, let's let's look at let's look at this this angle now. We are going to have people dropping from the Champions League yeah. to Europa. It's going to get tougher. Well, yeah, as long as Barcelona is not dropping, and Bayern Munich, and Bayern Munich is not dropping, there are chances that Atletico Madrid might drop. Let them drop. I don't know. Even Dortmund might come there. Even Dortmund, let them come. I do. As long as Barcelona is not coming, and Bayern. Do you know that it is very easy to it is very easy to win the Europa League. Looking at the Man U template, how Man U won the Europa League last season, they drew most of their matches. Exactly, and, and one, one at home. Make sure you don't lose. Even you don't if you lose. play the Sevillas and the Atletico Madrid of this world, I think on Arsenal's AD, they can take on anybody Any in team, Europe. Yeah, so if Arsenal really takes this competition seriously, it's I don't see anybody stopping win us. We can just go all the way. I think that, that, that's the chance of winning. In 15 matches, you are the European So I don't see Arsenal losing. What do you think? Yeah, we are winning. 
with new guys coming in from the Champions League, we will still win. We are with Arsenal, like you said, <laughs> on their day they can beat anything. Anybody. The likes well, of Real Madrid, Barcelona. The... If they really want to play, they play. <laughs> if they want to play, they play. Yeah. That's my own. That's the issue I have with them. And that's why I think I still feel when guys still a little bit not doing this work perfectly. Let them play always. Don't let them choose when they want to play. Okay. Like like they did against Man City. They didn't it was not a very bad game for us, but they didn't play enough. If they had played enough, we would have gotten something out of it. But against Totem, they played. So, we'll wait and see what happens in the Europa, Europa League on Thursday. Um, Cologne um, playing host to Arsenal. Don't forget, the hashtag is... Uh, no, 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 no,